Hey what's up you guys, welcome back to my channel if you're new here, hi hello I'm Lydia and today we're going to be talking about relapse and recovery. Relapse does not make you a failure, that's the first thing I have to say. I had a relapse last night, here's some footage. I just had my room stripped and all my fucking clothes, my shoes. My slippers, absolutely everything. Not my stuffed animals, or squishmallows to be exact. I've just been sedated. bad before it hits me. They're making me move back to the other room. The other safe room. Relapse makes things seem like you've done it for nothing. And that's not the case at all. Relapse happens to the best of us. Having a relapse doesn't mean that you've wasted your time in recovery. It doesn't mean you're back at square one. It's a little, little blip. It's a little blip. In a journey, a bump in the road, proud and really cheap, you guys can't see. And that's my diabetes saying, give me sugar. No, because if I give you sugar, then you can go all hyper. Recovery has so many elements to it and relapse is part of that. So if you've relapsed, know that it's okay. You're not alone and it doesn't make you a failure. I've been in recovery since I was 13 years old. I've relapsed a lot. I'm shaking like mad. Body, stop. I'm not gonna go home and get a sugary drink. Okay, yes I am. I'll be back in a moment. I'm back with a cup of Pepsi. I'm still shaking, but it should stop. I hope it stops. So, what is a relapse? The word relapse is most commonly used to describe a drug addict that's recovered or an alcoholic that's recovered starting to drink or drug again but it's also something that happens in mental illness mental illnesses can't be cured only treated this means that in order to keep your mental health from taking control of your life you need to receive the appropriate care and maintain your wellness for the rest of your life what are some warning signs that someone's relapsing Changes in sleep pattern, no longer taking medication regularly or at all, usually withdrawing from others, poor personal hygiene, delusions, impulsivity, increased risk of in risk taking behaviours, confusion. How to address a relapse. Call on the therapist, psychologist or other mental health provider. Reconnect with members of a support network such as the local community support group. Call the doctor and make an appointment. Tell close friends and family what's going on. Take time off work and school. Practice good self-care. Participate in, a re in yoga or other meditation style activities. Refer to a previously developed plan. Add a boop. Bella boop. And pack. And I'm not shaking. Bonus for us all. So what goes into a mental health relapse plan? You put your emergency contact details in. Like your name, your date of birth, your next of kin. You list your medications, the therapies that you're currently doing. List the triggers of what could trigger triggered this relapse oh, that's all i've got for this video i hope you've learned something maybe it'll help you or help someone close to you 
Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next one, but not before I give a shout out to my Patreons and a big shout out to Junk Shop Library who has supported me massively the last few months. Peace.